Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Carter, Director of Educational Content and Programs at Shape America, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of our mini lessons from Health Moves Minds Fundraiser. So this mini lesson is called Gratitude Walking Warm Up. It's for grades three through five. Really, it could be adapted for any grade level. And even though it has warm up in the name, it could really certainly be used as a cool down activity in an already existing lesson. So we're talking about gratitude. Gratitude is an amazing tool for mental and emotional wellness. Gratitude is a positive feeling. It can trigger other positive feelings. It's one tool we can use in our toolbox to take care of our mind. And why not combine it with movement? We're teaching our students how to take care of their mind and body this activity combines the two of those together. So what you'll do is you'll start talking about that concept of gratitude with them. You'll revisit the concept of mindfulness and health, move, health moves minds. We define gratitude as the feeling of being thankful and showing thanks for things in your life. And for mindfulness, really mindfulness is slowing down. It's paying full attention, noticing what's around you, and it's being focused and relaxed. So have your students walk around the perimeter of your instructional area. They're gonna walk this way mindfully. What do they hear? You could opt to play some mindful, calming, slow music to kind of set the tone for the activity. What you're going to do as the teacher, you're going to spell the word thanks and for each letter in thank, thanks, you're going to give them something to think about that they might be thankful for that starts with that letter. So for example, T. You can have them think of a toy that they might be thankful for. But maybe toy isn't the best word for your community. Maybe you might say time. Think of a time you might be thankful or have felt thankful. H, think of something in your home that you're thankful for. A, think of an activity that you might be thankful for. And you'll continue with the rest of the letters N, K, and S. Now, if you get this mini lesson from healthmovesminds.org, all these things that I'm describing are fully written out, including mini posters that you could print out and you could put in your gym for each letter and things. Now, at the end of the activity, revisit the concept of gratitude, explain to students we can be grateful and thankful and show gratitude for all kinds of things in our lives, big things, small things, even people. You'll close that out and if it's, the warm up, you can continue on with your lesson. If it's your cool down, you can revisit the rest of your lesson. It's a great way to kind of bring in these concepts around taking care of your mind and body in a quick and easy way. And it doesn't take away from your already existing curriculum. Now, for those of you that might teach secondary, there are many lessons for grades six through eight and nine through 12 that talk about gratitude, get a little bit deeper onto the benefits of gratitude on the mind and the body. And even if someone does something kind for you, what sacrifice are they making for you to help you to do a, a, an act of kindness? So all of these mini lessons around gratitude, if you're choosing to make a positive impact in your school community by doing a Health Moves Minds fundraiser and you're working towards a goal, Gratitude is something that connects really nicely to the fundraising side of things. Encourage your students to show gratitude when they ask for a donation and they get the donation or even when they don't. Really connects nicely to that sacrifice. When someone's choosing to give a donation, they have to make a sacrifice to help us, to help our school community. And we're thankful for that. We're showing gratitude. We're practicing and applying that skill. So. Really great way to connect the educational pieces towards the fundraising pieces. So, I'll leave you with this. What is something that you are thankful for right here, right now? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you're thankful for. Be sure to check out healthmovesminds.org so that you can learn how you can make a positive impact in your school community through the Health Moves Minds fundraiser. And thank you. I'm showing gratitude. Thank you so much for watching, taking the time to watch this. And we hope to see you join us in Health Moves Minds. Thank you.